Here is a few more details about uh, psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshir. This one here. She. There you go. The only thing that can save her now is that she says that this is not she. Um, but here is uh, how I got to know Tatiana Prokshir. Uh, doctor of medicine, especially psychiatry, uh, that became my psychiatrist even. <clears throat> Once I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. Well, the one who was involved in my case was her mother. Well, both parents were involved in this. Uh, mom, however, frequently had me and updated me about uh, her situation. So, uh, I didn't know much about Tatiana, uh, but her mother started to update me about Tatiana when Tatiana was about her age 10. Tatiana is I think, according to what uh, she stated, uh, because because I'm going to explain, is it talk about if she is not too young for me to marry, etc., etc. I think it's about they, they talk about it's like on the border, on the border already a bit too old. Uh, about I would say about 11 years older than myself, which I'm going to go through that stuff to do that stuff to to explain to you. Uh, what I think her age is and so on. Uh, the, the thing about it is, uh, when she was 10 years old, it was a mama. That's an interesting story because I think that Tatiana Prokshur is also was a subject to MK Ultra. Tatiana Prokshur, I believe, alone, she alone became um, subjected to MK Ultra procedure. It could be others, others also, uh, but I am very, very certain about Tatiana because Tatiana uh, was like a top grade student, which doesn't mean that if you're a top grade student that you are, uh, you know, that you would be necessary, that you would be subjected to MK Ultra. I don't think so. Uh, however, I do think there's a lot of that stuff goes on more than what. Uh, you know what society admits for other purposes also uh, and so uh, her mom updated me that she has absolutely immaculate grades uh, I think that she was a top scorer that she was a top 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 uh, scorer uh, in the school uh, I Question is even if, if anybody had a higher grades than she had. Um, uh, her mom was extremely worried about what it appeared to me were two kids. One was a boy and the other one was a little girl. The boy, I think the, her brother therefore must be I think he's a bit younger than myself, I would say, but uh, I don't know, maybe some five years younger than myself, you know, younger than myself. He's about the same age, I think, like she is. He is probably about, I would say, like five years older than she is. That's what I would say. Um, yeah, I would say about, you know what, I would say about, I would say, I estimate that probably he would be about even less than five years older, you know, I would probably go between three to five years older than she is. And uh, the thing about is that, about the Tatiana is that when she was 10 years old, uh, she was a really, um, I don't know what, what, what would be the standard of the discipline for you, but, uh, when it all started, these interactions about her children, therefore mother of Tatiana Prokshul, 
she she was very worried about the kids, how the kids and so on. But the thing about it is that it was uh, she didn't have to worry really so much because uh, she said to me that Tatiana that uh, that her son is doing fine, but Tatiana is. Uh, I remember this update. Tatiana is is actually even taking over the, the entire household because uh, she started to police her parents uh, at age ten. That's what makes it very very unusual that he started to enforce uh, on uh, on everybody in the family on how they must not get fat. Uh, unusual stuff for a 10 year old child this is why I think that she was uh, also subjected to MK Ultra. those are already the signs that tells you that there is something deeper that goes inside within the family because it's not normal that you would have a 10 year old child uh, literally obsessed with uh, weight issues and she was totally obsessed uh, not really obsessed I don't think that this would be the proper term because she shared her knowledge also with others, also with me. Um, she, however, disliked people to get fat very much. She wanted to look like tip top, not even one gram more and so on, that kind of stuff and started to do this to mom and to the rest of the family. And um, the thing is that um, uh, very very unusual stuff age 11 age what probably was her age 12 this is very very unusual I had some in 92 uh, there were some girls that were coming from the city here to visit me at home during MK Ultra that they're gonna date me and so on it the whole thing did not have any kind of uh, potential because of my parents because of because of my I mean how can I explain myself listen I never thought of anybody you know anything bad or in any negative way you know uh, but you know the system the system thought about me that uh, you know, it's it's like they stated they're gonna handle me. You know, like they're gonna they're gonna um, heh. <laughs> It's it's a bit hard to explain this stuff, you know. It's like uh, everybody in this world knows better than you what you need. Um, now, I always was laid back individual. I never was looking for trouble. I never wanted to have trouble with anybody. But um, I am not really the last... Uh, I, it's difficult to express myself in English, but um, I'm not really the, the the person like somebody that you're gonna come and you're gonna you're gonna do the damage to. Um, somebody that you will guide the remote and and so you get the wrong person here, really. It does not work like this. And so I'm not any different from other people, I assume. Um, I'm thinking about how they engineered this stuff because we are pretty much human beings, more or less, who think about the same thing. And so I'm thinking the way they did this stuff 
in a way I feel, should I even say this or I shouldn't say this, because this was done in a, such a way that you possibly could not uh, avoid any of it. Now, avoiding any, any stuff would simply deliver me to the jail. As simple as this. There is no shortcut when it comes to, to, to this degree of violence uh, to the, such an amplitude of people that know better everything about than what you do, about what you need. Um, what they do is they undermine people totally about everything. They, under, they, they, they undermine person, the victim of MK Ultra like myself. They undermine about absolutely everything, about his biological needs. Uh, try to confuse person about absolutely everything, about everything he sees in the world, whether it's um, is a reality he see himself in. Maybe this is somewhat related to the such a high profile of MK Ultra, but still. Uh, I'm not really the person that you would want to come and, and, and pick up on me. I mean, <laughs> uh, you can do this, but, um, well, that's why they got people and courts and police and uh, everything from all walks of lives, you know, to stop this, to have it their way. Um, and uh, when they started with these girls, you know that they will come and this and that this doesn't have any kind of potential is to be in a home where you're nobody when you're nothing um basically you get like i thought you get like an assignment like you're gonna go and the maximum what i can count on would be I, this this is so degenerated, this country, this society, so degenerated, it's so fucked up. Uh, the, I honestly think it's not worth even to spit. It's not worth the fucking spit, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, try to assign me some kind of role of uh, impregnating women and uh, then sleeping at home or something like that, you know. <laughs> And uh, everything that uh, in between and after that happens to the person basically turned me into a perfect vagabond, you know. Uh, it's just a role that somehow I couldn't accept. Did not agree to that kind of stuff. So I took them for, a wrong t uh, for the long ride instead because they couldn't put their fingers away. So then we had to settle this in a different way. Um, this would be like probably the best I could count on. And, um, yeah, I'm not exactly the kind of person that I would be looking forward to life in jail or inside of the mental uh, assistance home or something like that. Uh, sorry, that's that's not me. Um, Kuchan, however, Milan Kuchan had here people like, his name was Schwiegel from Kuchelia, uh, Matko. Uh, these are all the people like Marco Bulls and so on, had all these people uh, that all knew better than myself what I needed, you know, everybody, you know, they had these women and it, it was always like this that they knew everything better than what I did uh, as to what I, what, what I needed, you know, uh, it was always like, uh, well, you know, you have to get married to, to a Serbian. If you get married to a Serbian, uh, then it will be, you know, this one way to settle this is basically to get you a Serbian woman. And uh, then once you get a Serbian woman, you, uh, you know, you simply, there won't be any differences between us, is what Milan Kuchan stated. He stated, not between you and Serbs, but between us. So that means that Milan Kuchan consider, considers himself as a Serbian. This is a Serbianats, Serbian. The whole dating thing from the city started with uh, some blonde Slovenian girls. This is what they used first. Uh, bring some Slovenian girls here, appealing girls, 
to the city that will start to come here. This was right after independence, 91, 92, 93. However, uh, the Serbian women started to appear in this crowd of these girls that will be coming here. Uh, of which one just happens to be also a very, very, very young Tatiana, age 12 probably. That's like interesting stuff. We're talking about the year 1993, first time it was already uh, Tatiana Proksha that would come here for a visit. According to her own words, and she acted more responsible than adults act. Was She was the only person that I know of during MK Ultra at age her 12 at her age 12 not her age 12 but at her, her age in 96 and we're gonna get to that stuff in 96 she stated to me she stated to me lol she stated um if we would do some of that stuff um uh, i would be in trouble and she meant literally on a sexual relationship. Uh, she didn't say you would be in trouble, but she stated I would be in trouble. The neighbors uh, here revolted against this practice. They revolted against police. They revolted against... Uh, uh, I remember Donna Collins who came out and you are getting him all these girls, you're getting him all these women and all this. Don't you see the guy is mentally ill and so on. Uh, and now you're getting him such a young uh, girls and so on. So it was a whole fucking revolt that went on here in the village about this stuff that went on. Um, but not in a sense that they would uh, try to stop something or whatever. They just, it was just a lot of hatred that went on for me even today unknown reasons uh, which really do not uh, the, the village have a lot of problems so we're talking about year 1993 Tatiana Proxer here and my being uh, really 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 not happy about this Serbian stuff that went on with Milan Kuchan. Um, just keep uh, boiling in 91 Slovenia finally became independent. Uh, boiling the issue between me and Serbia. And the Serbs got so many chances that from my side that is kind of obnoxious for me to even consider them as any viable option, as any kind of option of any kind. You know, it was a time when Serbs managed with the Slovenians to excite me into uh, seeing myself even as a Serb. Even this have happened. Uh, and it was like this till I noticed that, uh, yeah, they got me to some uh, Serbs over there and uh, they give me the whole history of the Serbia and uh, uh, why this is uh, uh, very good for Slovenia and for the Serbia. Uh, she talk about, I don't know, uh, somewhere around like Dubrovnik area and so on. And... Uh, had these people assured me that this is, uh, uh, you know, in the best interest of everybody and that, you know, that we are, we are the same and so on. And uh, uh, they put in the middle some women. Uh, had me throughout the Serbia and so on. 
And, um, you know, it all ended once they started to act with the arrogance. Yeah, they started to act with the arrogance. They, they, um, what he said to me, Ser Serbiana said to me, Serbian said to me, he said to me, well, uh, you know, uh, you should feel honored to be accepted uh, as a Serb. Uh, you know, you, uh, you know, and uh, if the Serbs, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, you should never do anything, say or or anything against the Serbs. You know, because once the Serbs. Uh, uh, once the Serbs go after you in that sense, once the Serbs label you uh, as a and so on, you don't know what is the Serbia, what the Serbia is in Serbia and so on. Well, I was hurt because I started to see myself actually as a Serb at the time. Uh, I started to contemplate that, uh, started to, to think about it, that maybe, you know, this is really, uh, maybe I shouldn't, uh, maybe I shouldn't see it that way. Uh, Because it was a completely different attitude throughout the, the, the learning to the Serbia and so on, and and uh, we speak to him, we speak to whatever, to the people over there in Belgrade, we arrange everything for you and so on, you know, so that this would not be for you problem anymore and this and that, like this it was, you know, and this was just a mistake and so on and this and that. Well, once this guy started to talk to me about, uh, you know, about how the Serbs, uh, you know, don't ever do this to Serbia, Serbia this, Serbia, I don't know what, uh, Serbia get you on, uh, you know, uh, again, I don't know how to translate this to English. Osobito narod kao srpski, you know, osobito narod kao srpski, you know, especially that, you know, a nation like a Serbian, you know, uh, now that's a nation, you know, that, uh, you know, we never forgive, yeah, this is what it was, we never forgive, you know, and so on, you know, we never forgive, you know, and once we this, you know, we destroy you and so on and so forth. When he said this to me, because this is what the Serbs always do. First they give you, first they reach some kind of agreement with you. Uh, and once you comply, uh, once not you comply, once I'm, I'm, this kind of stuff cannot be done on somebody that complies. This kind of brainwash, type of brainwash I'm talking about can only be done on somebody who is, who starts to see himself actually as, you know, as a part of something that he objected, whatever. And so, uh, the Serbs always did have, uh, whenever, or you would become friend with some Serbian or something, uh, it would be then other stuff, you know, you are lucky because, you know, he, he could do this to you or he could do that to you. By the way, he has, I don't know, brother and uh, I don't know what kind of stuff, you know. Uh, and we do this and we did this and by the way we killed that guy and we did this this is how they work you know once 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 they started with that stuff again it was somewhere in Dubrovnik area or something like that uh, in I don't know they spent a lot of time going on a sea on Adriatic Sea and back to Serbia and back and forth and this and that now this is basically when I said everything to the motherfucker land they um just by saying listen you know 
we are totally different people, by the way, and, uh, you know, we don't have really nothing in common. So I told them, don't, don't worry about it anymore, about this stuff. Uh, I, I mean, with this, with the Serbs, there's no fucking way it can be because, because they're just, they're just out of this fucking planet. And the only thing they, they understand, the only thing they understand is a violence. That's the only thing they understand. They understand there's one thing in this world they understand, brutality. This is just the way it is. But other than that, you can never make any kind of agreement. They're always looking out for war and for the problems. This is always war and problem. War and problem. And always they claim injustice against them. This is just a Serbian tradition. Bulgarians can confirm what I stated. Kosovo, Albanian people, Macedonian people can confirm, Montenegrin people can confirm, Bosnian people can confirm, Croatian people can confirm, Hungarian people can confirm, Romanian people, all the neighbors around them can confirm what I stated. Every fucking country around them can tell you exactly what I stated. They're always victims. They're always victims, but they always are looking to cause problems and they always try to be different than other people. They somehow just don't have a capacity uh, to release uh, whatever they have inside of their, I don't know, DNA or whatever it is. And so Tatiana, yeah, Tatiana was used by the Milan Kuchan literally to come here to this house. Not even the such an age difference was a big obstacle for her. Um... I think in 93, this girl was 12 years old. I mean, when I, when I see this resume here, this, this is her resume here. Um, she finished year 2004. Now, I don't know, but I think that because she talked to me, this is one thing about the Tatiana. She talked to me in, literally in a sexual sense. Um... She would not give me, she would not disclose me, uh, she would not disclose me her age. Because she knew that if I would hear the age, that I would be like, probably, wow, you know, wow, fuck off. During MK Ultra, this is, this is just something that if somebody told me, you know, I'm under age or whatever, it was just goodbye. Um, and so... I don't know what the age of consent was in Yugoslavia. I don't know. Let me see this stuff here. No, this is just for the between males 14 and... Uh, the equal age okay uh, I'm gonna tell you exactly the way she uh, she she spoke to me the language that she used um, in 96 she stated to me that we could still be in trouble Something like this. It appeared to me like she was counting uh, freaking months. And I think this is the kind of stuff that was used to drive me insane. Uh, there's one thing about the Tatiana. Uh, because I refused to have anything, she did not, she was, she was not even my type. I'm going to put it this way. Uh, but she was persistent and she kept coming back. And... Uh, very intelligent and um, she was the one who told me you have a, a she started to teach me about how why I'm not supposed how why I'm supposed to keep slender dude you're talking about some girl 12 years old that comes to you uh, and I most likely I was like
hell, man. I was like 93. Yeah. 23 is when I left to the U.S. Uh, well, that's kind of strange. 23 I was, that was 95, so... 23, so I was like, what, 21? And she's like at 12? Started to teach me about... I, in a way, I found this like extremely harassing. Uh, but on the other hand, it appealed to me. Can you imagine a, a, a young girl, 12 years age, start to tell you what kind of shirts you're supposed to wear? I mean, I'm not kidding about this stuff. She was crazy. She told me you, what I have to wear, what kind of clothing do I have to wear? Do it. I was like 21. And that's like a 12 year old girl. I did not know she was 12, but this girl was always tall. Uh, and dude, she started to teach me about what happens with the face. I did not even know what the fuck happened with the face. I never pay any attention to this stuff in my life. And she started to teach me about how the face changes if you eat a lot of food and stuff and what kind of shirts to wear so that my face is going to look more slender. The thing is that this was stuff was not even stupid. And she was just 12. And I knew nothing about I never thought about this stuff. I threw on me whatever it was out there. And she started to teach me about you, uh, neck, and, and uh, V. And V, you know, V with the V, V-neck shirts, T-shirts, what, like this, like this. She started to teach me about what the difference is, dude, that I supposed to wear the V because I'm getting round. I mean, she knew how to trigger. Uh, I was like, ah. Uh, stuff that just spins you out of this world right so as such a smart girl talking to me about what is it I should wear to look good so that I would not appear yeah because you you know um, she said you must not she started you know how she started you must not eat you must not this you must not that you must uh, you must control your food, you must uh, do this, you must exercise, you must, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, you're only supposed to eat so many calories and so on. Uh, and you must wear, you must wear the, the V, the V shirts with the V. Uh, every time when I think about this, my mind just go blank. It's like, uh, I'm still thinking like, all of a sudden, I find myself in that time. I'm like, ah. Uh. And if your face somehow is going to go fat, because you're going to get fat, then you should definitely wear V. And I was like, ah. Uh, like right now. Uh. And in fact, you're already getting a little bit fat. You should just wear V. You must wear V. This was the Tatiana Proctor at her age 12. She was a top grader. I think that she had the, the highest scores. One time there was somebody who had the better scores, whatever, and that was already a problem. Uh, whatever. But that she guaranteed that her scores are the top, the top, the top, the top, whatever. <laughs> uh, the Milan Kuchan was really, really excited about her. This was, she was a magnet for Ljubljana. And I, I, uh, I didn't know what the fuck I would, why I would uh, think about all this stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm going to pass on you, you know, yeah, thank you and so on. And, and it was, so you, you don't want me. And that was sometimes in 96. And in 96, this girl, 
based on what I recall, in 96, she even started with something says that now we already could. Now we already could. Uh, she started with this stuff already earlier. Now we already could, the two of us. And I was like, what? And there was the answer. And so she was doing this kind of stuff to, to keep me alert, to, to drive me crazy, basically. Uh, I think, yeah, I would say that, yeah, I would say that sometimes in 98, I think, she was probably 18, I would say, in 98, 99, okay, 99, that this was 18. So, what can I say? When she was, well, let's say, 96, okay, so you're talking about probably a girl that was like 15 years old, I estimate, something like that. She stated to me, oh, by the way, 96, 97, she stated to me, by the way, uh, yeah, she was like, she, she was talking to me about what hot cat she is, what a hot cat she is, you know, don't want and this and that. Um, and I was like, uh, like right now, basically, because I remember this stuff, I'm thinking about this. She stated to me, and by the way, you don't know what kind of powers I have. And uh, just like right now, I was like, uh, I mean, she always came up with the statements that would rock me to the moon all the way. I was like, uh, a lot of time spent next to her brain dead, basically asking myself, do I fucking watch movie or is it that this is actually really happening to me? Uh, the powers, what kind of powers do I have? And I was like, uh, what kind of powers do you have? I mean, a young girl like this, young, young woman, I just have powers. Jeez, man, I saw all kinds of people in this world. I mean, I met these Soviet politicians, all kinds of stuff, Milosevic, all these people I met. All kinds of stuff that you possibly could not believe fucking exists out there. I, I have seen and met. And now I have a young girl, a young lady. This is a young girl, definitely, still. Talking about what kind of powers that she has. That I don't even know what kind of powers that she has. And sure enough, statement like this that an MK Ultra will leave you brain dead. Like, are you fucking kidding me or something like this, girl? Uh, and the one who confirmed about her special powers was actually Milan Kuchin. Who he was the Milan Kuchin was the one who empowered her mentally. He's with the bored power. This is already so violent in 90. They tuned down publicly in during Slovenian independence for like two years. And then they started to act more and more violent. And they totally mentally gave her like idea like she is They, they make her crazy enough, obviously, that she started to believe like she's a witch or something, in that sense. I think that Tatiana actually saw herself like some kind of creator, like, like, she started to see herself in some kind of scenario, my scenario, based on whatever they put in her head, and I think they brainwashed her thoroughly. She started to dream about when she became like 18 and how she's going to finish the... No, forget about that. Resented me. Resented me for not wanting to be with her. And it's okay. And now you will see. Uh, now, basically, now you will pay. Uh, 
when I think about this stuff seriously, the next thing she tells me she's going to go to I have to study a psychiatry, you know. And I was like, oh, really? You know, fine, you know, just just do that, you know, fine, super. Uh, just, you know, come on. I mean, this is... Uh, whatever it is I mean but she finished the university and I'm sure with the top grades everything uh, the thing is that not that she would uh, you know only keep her promise about how she will destroy me this is what her promise her promises started to uh, it started to get more and more ambitious you know blah 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 I will destroy you and I don't know what yeah okay yeah <laughs> you know many tried that good luck with that uh, be my guest sure um, I saw her just another like another person during MK Ultra but maybe this is what drew her so uh, vigorously into books that her studies I think she, she must have been whatever she studied like a top student more discipline that uh, I don't know what is the standard for the discipline uh, I don't know maybe North Korea or in uh, I don't know I don't know if the US Marines don't really have any kind of discipline come on those are the biggest buggers the same is with his uh, legionnaires and so on come on they're disciplined as long as they have to be disciplined, but when they no longer have to be disciplined, they are the worst crowd in the city. You know that. Uh, but not her. She she was just uh, into her stuff and working on her things and top, top, top for the Milan coach and completely perfect 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 it was all selected everything based on her characteristics that this would be perfect is the psychiatric job psychiatry it will be a psychiatry so this is this is a life how she started to become a psychiatrist with the Tatiana Prochu this is this is really the account about I think that her brother actually who lived with them when the two parents separated, I think it was uh, her brother that sometimes I like get age. Um, from what I recall, I think that I don't know, man. Maybe he went to study at that time or something like that, which he did. Uh, but I think they, she talked to him about something that he went with the father or something like this, like when he was sixteen or something like that. That he he spent time with him or whatever it was like that, you know. Um, some stuff like that, something like this. I can't rec recall everything, but this is quite a good and useful memories about that stuff. No, this is a fucking problem when you tell me that uh, that once we get married, there's not going to be any differences between us, anyways. Uh, this is what, for me personally, real, real, real problems really, really start. When you when you tell me that once we get married, there's not going to be any differences between us anyways. Um, I, I didn't understand this fucking Kuchan at all. I didn't understand this guy at all. This is a... Uh, This is uh, understand. When I say understand, understand in the meaning of um, his terms he used during MK Ultra. His terms don't make any sense to me. And he was constantly looking for uh, problems. He was constantly looking to. Um, he was constantly looking to turn my statements and uh, 
which he would not allow me to complete uh, my sentences, my views into into his the way he wanted lies to be interpreted as um, he constantly was was the one who was making me understand that there is differences between us. He was the one who was this power engine uh, that. Uh, it was it, it was just it was just a recipe. His recipe always was based on uh, agreement, and once uh, you know, I would submit myself to his brainwash and agree with him on something. Uh, he would use that to further what he referred himself as the differences between us, with some kind of. Um, you know, totally insane demand from me uh, in a sign of, obviously, without even explaining me, in a sign of submission to him. He always wanted uh, from me, demanded from me to submit to him on my knees, basically, to uh, literally obey uh, his uh, perversion like a dog. You know, that's why I said also yesterday in a video that Slovenians are homeless dogs uh, craving for their masters, for their owners from Belgrade. Uh, I was homeless a lot in my life because of this Slovenian scum uh, that claims is a nation and in fact is a scum on the earth, scum of the earth who uh, Thus, whatever their owners, whatever their masters, Lastniki from Belgrade, uh, throw them a bone, basically, they have to comply with. Yeah, that's a proper. You don't know how fucked I was in more than 12 countries where I searched for political asylum, of which one, proudly, I have to say, even became a Belarus under. Uh, Lukashenko and for things to get worse I already had a plan ready on how I will escape Belarus through literally at night barbed wire literally get through the field monitored uh, by police, by the military, literally between Russia and Belarus, literally, because I could not go straight to the Moscow, which was my initial goal, uh, and Russia would not allow me to uh, enter Russia, uh, have blocked me from entering Russia uh, through the Warsaw, which flight I had made reservation in 2017. So I have, I, have, I have been through quite a few issues in my life. I'm going to say to you, I've seen all this stuff. I have gone through a lot of stuff I have seen, but a scumbaggery like this one here in Slovenia, this this kind of scumbaggery like this, I, this this is just something that uh, is of a very very different nature. It's of a very different nature, I, you know. Um, It's got some special, very, very personal um, mentally ill agenda hiding inside of it. It's Kaliningrad number two, let's just say. And the real owner of this place is Milan Kuch and Borut Pahor. 
these are these are these are the people. These are really really the people. When it comes to Janus Jansha and uh, Louis Peterle and so on, uh, when I think about what I have seen from Kucha and what I learned from Robert Golob, when I learned from from Natasha Pirts Musar, uh, Borut pa Pahor, Danilo Turk, Dernoshek and all these people, Tanya Fayon and all this, you know, uh, they take care of their people. They they make sure they get connections outside, that they go that they send their people to, to universities abroad, that they um, even that they don't like them at all. But they know they have to. Um, you know, they make sure that young people get jobs, careers. Uh, they make sure that young people participate in a, in a insane projects like the one it was extermination procedure in real time. They watch, they get to watch and learn through the evil, through the satanistic ritual, really in the name of the satanism, luciferism, practice uh, satanism on an, on an individual causing him harm in every way, every sense, and they learn how connected the society is. They know, they learn about the local director of the police and his assistant and so on, how he is protecting them during the satanism or whatever that is in Slovenia. They learn about the director of uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical and they learn about the director from uh, local Renault here, which is actually a French company, but the thing is that it's controlled by the Slovenian directors and the Slovenian uh, human resource departments, between the two of which coordinate absolutely everything that goes on, you know, with certain people that belong to them in every department, you know, supervisors, bosses, uh, how they get to interact with people from home for elderly people, with the physicians, whom, by the way, they groom and grow to become a physician since they're children, to serve their needs at the local hospitals, where again administration is in their hands, and so on and so on. They get to see, basically, they get the hands-on training in, through interaction with the environment, on who the real owner here in Slovenia is. Luis, Luis, Luis Peterle, Peterleto Luizic, uh, stated that, no, we don't do that, we don't give any kind of special uh, assistance to, to our people, to our supporters in Ljubljana and when they go to universities and so on, and we don't do this, they don't, they don't pretty fucking much do anything. Jansha stated that they do something for their supporters, that they also help them find accommodations and stuff like this, that they help them or something like that. Uh, 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 you can just go fucking brain that if you think about Slovenia as a nation. These are vagabonds, these are homeless people that will make decent good people that feel different from Belgrade, dead, literally, homeless. I tested on my skin. You end up inside the psychiatric hospital, labeled as mentally ill, claiming they don't know where the fuck you are, who the fuck you are, what you are, you are out of the fucking planet. You're alien, that's all there is. And they were capable to, to engage in extermination procedure against me in the United States of America where I even became a citizen in 2000 through Vladimir Putin who utilized together together literally through corruption Vladimir Putin when Vladimir Putin sit at the table this Western leaders businessmen they were just falling apart in front of him boy they were just like you throw the sugar inside of the glass of water were fucking mean in front of him, begging him for the deals, for the minerals and all kinds of stuff like that, investments and so on. Literally like this, sales of weapons and so on. Utilized through London to the British Royals, mother of all genocide against me in Western Hemisphere. London, British, made sure that I would not get no fucking place to stay. 
straight through the US Congress and through the White House break down my life on the streets of Miami for 11 and a half years and shortly what became even Chicago, Illinois, Minneapolis in Minnesota and I thought maybe I would have a chance somewhere in the border between the US and Canada that was Bellingham, Washington State that's basically on the west coast Seattle area they fucking kill you they fucking kill you uh, and why is this so? it's not because of Milan Kuchan but it's because of the Kwasi Kwasi means imaginary country, nation known as a Slovenia the non-existing nation non-existing nation to which whose politicians that supposedly present some kind of opposition in this country are doing everything possible best of their abilities to fuck the whole society up here this is exactly what I spoke about yesterday in that video that I rated here about this stuff here I totally explained about we have a two different routes we have a different routes here for the people in Slovenia for some people in Slovenia we have what I explained to you this is Robert Golob, Dr. Robert Golob, etc., etc., and my niece, and my lovely niece, and her husband, lovely. All geniuses, all doctors, everything doctor, doctor, everything doctor. And for the others, it's, it's a different kind of route, basically. You watch this video here, you will understand. We have, two, we have a two-way type of democracy. We have, this is actually one-way democracy. You know, we have a one-way democracy here in Slovenia. It's called ethnic cleansing, and it's a very, very active. It's a very, very active ethnic cleansing. Very active ethnic cleansing. But it's not because of it's not because of politicians. It's like this because of people. Because people are not worth shit. Because people are rotten as hell. They're rotten to the bone. It's the people. Something like this. Something like I have stated today. Something exactly something like this here. Something like this. This kind of stuff I don't recognize. You know. I do not recognize stuff like this as a nation. The people who recognize stuff like this as a, as a, as a nation, as a dependent nation, uh, make two mistakes one mistake is to recognize something that does not recognize you in absolutely any way uh, and the second thing is that you're basically you are denying yourself when you say that this is nation who the fuck are you then inside of this nation you see what the fuck I'm saying it's a big mistake to recognize this as a valid nation as a people I mean, when the people start to see themselves in extermination procedure, in a genocide against the fellow man, either way you look, I'm not part of this nation. There is no fucking way I'm part of this nation. Because if I'm a fellow man, this is even worse than if I would not be a fellow man. I'm a native from here, but... If I'm a fellow man, if I am a native from here, that much of a bigger crime when people start to see themselves in a politicians, in a money, in other words, in materialism, whatever it is, and even profit from within, rather than in themselves, or should be in themselves, if you don't see yourself in yourself, and you're no fucking nation, and you're fucking nobody. That you're just homeless dogs 
they keep picking up bones from the Belgrade that's all there is to it you read this post too in respect to this stuff these are two different things when it comes to America in America you have a lot of different people you have all kinds of people uh, and it might sound it is similar in a similar way but uh, completely different issues behind it there are totally different issues behind it this is a very good video I have made and this is yet another good video that I hope will make you understand where the hell I'm coming from and what this case was all about when if one ever manages to establish this kind of facts stuff in that case there's no no reason or necessity anymore to see yourself within such environment either you don't you don't need to remain slave and and continue to deny yourself and uh, become Loise Petrle or Janus Jansha without the cost basically they at least collected money they had a good life they uh, they had something out of life I didn't have anything really so that's the way it goes and this will be a video pertaining another yet another video uh, pertaining to doctor psychiatrist uh, Tatiana Proxel I have dedicated already some videos I'm gonna put the link below uh, and this is she this here also is she yes uh, what is it here ispitan ki ga je opravila z pohvalo she completed some kind of uh, some kind of uh, what is she has a klišija dva tisu za specialističnim ispitan ki ga je opravila z pohvalo I think she was uh, 17 years old when she finished the high school. She was not even 18, I would say. Uh, she was uh, she was actually a brilliant student, and uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about. she did have a little uh, issues uh, when she was younger and that's something I don't understand and I don't know how much real that stuff is either I'll never get the proof about that stuff she was actually even contemplating on stopping studies when she was 16 years of age for about a year or two she said that she would stop pause and then she would continue on on a, on a, on a university and she claimed that, that this would be because of me uh, I don't believe I think she's a really really talented liar um, she can tell the stories like nobody else I think in from the MK ultra perspective uh, this is what I think uh, Every one of the issues she then proceeded and uh, stated, well, luckily I have not done that and so on and so forth. <laughs> in her life, nothing was luck. Everything in her life was based on a really, really hard work. I'm not denying this stuff. I'm not a denier. I'm not somebody who's gonna, who goes out there and wants to deny or whatever. Uh, but she is very, very cunning person, extremely, extremely cunning person. Uh, manipulator, manip you know, manipulator, who really, really knows her way around with people subjected to MK Ultra. I estimate it is that God knows how many people in Slovenia that are subjected to uh, MK Ultra procedures. I'm not the only person. There is no doubt about it that we have a, such a criminal network in Slovenia that. Um, Eventually, the whole country is going to succumb like this to its knees. The way things, the way things are operated, the way the way they operate these things, uh, I don't see any kind of future for Slovenia. Uh, sooner or later, if there wouldn't be a borders between Croatia uh, and Serbia, 
we would have in Bosnia and Serbia we would have already uh, big problems in Slovenia again we would we would we would have we would have accelerated this extermination procedure on the next stage that's basically what they don't do in the West it's a barbed wire on open camps out and open stuff Joseph Stalin used to do in and Josip Broz Tito after the World War II so we had this kind of stuff going on this is here in this place nothing ever was anything unusual about it you know it all uh, that's it for me that's it for this video